Why do people want to give up their careers and school just to be TikTok famous? Who knows? From the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello there, this is Jesse Oakley III speaking. Before I get to today's topic, I need your help. I have a goal to get to 5,000 subscribers. Right now I'm at 2,300 subscribers and I need your help to make that happen. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, share these videos, and I will do my best to give you my words of wisdom from yours truly, Jesse Oakley III. Yes, there's something going on out there where some people are giving up their careers or giving up schooling just to be TikTok famous. And I'm here to say this, social media, while it's good and cool that people are getting money off of certain vehicles like YouTube, TikTok, or OnlyFans, all I can tell you that social media, like many things, is temporary. It is a fad. And when you rely on all eggs in one basket for the social media, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. But what's gonna happen when it doesn't work? You gotta have a backup plan. You gotta have a backup career to fall back on in the event that you don't make this money from TikTok or OnlyFans or YouTube. You gotta make sure that you have something that's more grounded and more centered because once you have that, then it's easy for you to fall back on. But if you don't, it's like relying on a trapeze act where you have no net and then you're just falling down all the way down to the ground. And when you hit the ground, it's gonna hit hard. This reminds me of certain athletes in college or in high school thinking that they're good to play in the NBA, the NFL, or the NHL, or Major League Baseball. Yeah, they may be a good prospect, but what happens when the career doesn't go that way with your sports career? Yes, you have so many athletes that are trying to get to the NBA, that are still trying to get to the NBA, playing in different leagues in, in China, in Europe, in Australia, in Russia, or anywhere else, but yet they still have an NBA dream as time keeps on slipping into their future. My thing is this, if you have a choice, go ahead and make a choice, but also think about what could go wrong, uh, what happens if your choice don't go as well as a plan? What's gonna be next? Are you going to be that one person that goes in the interview table and the people look at your resume and they say that you did this on OnlyFans or you did this on TikTok or anything else? If they have to look at your resume just because you did OnlyFans and TikTok and they look at the videos of your work, chances are they probably will not hire you on the spot unless it's something that's relevant to TikTok and OnlyFans. So people out there that are thinking about giving their careers for a shot at social media to make the fast cash on a short-term basis, you also gotta think long-term as well. How will this benefit you in the long run? When you may have that money and that money could pile up, the next thing you know that money will be gone. And what's, what's gonna happen to you? What's gonna go down next? You have to think about this. You have to be careful with the choices that you do make because one wrong choice could mean a fall down. It could mean something that could hurt you. And when you get hurt, it's hard to get back up. So remember, make the wise choice in what you do, especially when it comes to giving up a career for social media. Because you have to ask yourself in the long run, is it worth it? This is Jess Okay Third speaking and until next time, you take care and have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, I have other videos right here that you can check out. And feel free to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, and you'll get some more words of wisdom from yours truly, Jesse Oakley III. Until next time, you take care. Remember to always have a great day. Bye.